Uh, today is the 12th of uh, November, which is the second day of the 19th Conference of Parties of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change being held here in Warsaw, in Poland. We had a very good opening ceremony yesterday morning on the 11th when the outgoing chair of uh, the COP, uh, who was the minister from Qatar, who headed the 18th Conference of Parties in Doha last year, handed over to the minister from Poland, uh, who is now the chair of the current COP. And we had statements from Christiana Figueres, the executive secretary, and the chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Dr. Pachauri. Um, in the opening session, one of the most uh, moving uh, speeches was made by the representative of the Philippines, who spoke about super cyclone or super typhoon Ayan that hit uh, the Philippines in the last 48 hours. He spoke about his brother having been affected. He comes from the the part of the Philippines that was affected and was extremely emotional about the impacts of this super typhoon, something that is unprecedented, and that made a moving speech for us to actually get something done in Warsaw, unlike uh, previous occasions when we seem not to have done much or made much progress. So we got a standing ovation. Everybody is in a very good mood to try and get something done here in Warsaw. So the, the spirits are high, uh, the level of uh, optimism is high, um, very often that optimism proves un, uh, untrue or it doesn't pan out, but hopefully over the next two weeks in Warsaw we will be having uh, an outcome. One of the particular issues that is uh, of high importance here in Warsaw is the issue of loss and damage, again, which the uh, Philippines representatives spoke of. The super typhoon was something that uh, was unprecedented. It's, it wasn't that the Philippines wasn't prepared. Philippines is prepared for typhoons. They have about 20 a year. They've had about 24 of them already. So the people were warned. They did go to shelters, but they died in the shelters because the shelters were inadequate to deal with a cyclone or, or a typhoon of the magnitude that we had. It's unprecedented. We have never seen something like this. And so we can't prepare for something that is of this scale. And that is, I think, one of the, the key elements that has brought to light this issue of loss and damage here in Warsaw. I will be following that particular strand of the negotiations and report back on it over the course of the next two weeks. We've had a very strong statement on that issue, issued jointly from the groups, the small island groups, the least developed countries, Africa, and the larger G77 developing countries. We shall see how that is uh, uh, reacted to by the Annex 1 or the richer countries and I will report back on the state of that particular strand of the negotiations over the next few uh, days and weeks, uh, up to the end of next week.